My name is Axel Keating, and I'm intersex and trans. I'm non-binary, and I use they, them pronouns. I'm an Interact Youth member, a program for intersex young people run by intersex young people between the ages of 13 and 29 who speak about their experiences and advocate for intersex people. I'm calling for the repeal, veto, and defeat of any law or bill that forces people to use single-sex facilities like restrooms and changing rooms according to their sex assigned at birth, and that ends or leaves out protection for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, asexual, and aromantic people. These laws and bills are not just about bathrooms. They legalize discrimination and directly attack transgender, intersex, gender nonconforming, queer, bisexual, asexual, aromantic, lesbian and gay people, particularly trans women and trans feminine people, gender nonconforming people, intersex people, and people of color who may not fit prescribed notions around bodily appearances and gender roles. This means people can claim someone is in the wrong restroom simply based on their appearance because someone else thinks that their appearance doesn't fit what they think someone of a particular gender should look like. They are attempts to regulate and police our genders and bodies and demonize us. No one should have to look a particular way to pee safely or survive. Intersex people are born with sex characteristics such as genital, gonadal, and chromosomal traits that do not conform to constructed binary notions of sex. Trans people have genders that do not correlate to constructed binary notions of their sex assigned at birth. Intersex people may or may not be trans, and trans people may or may not be intersex, just like cisgender people, people whose genders do correlate to constructed binary notions of their sex assigned at birth, who may or may not be intersex, since intersex people may or may not be cisgender. From an early age, we are told that sex and gender are binary. You're assigned a sex at birth, you grow up, and you identify with the gender correlated with that sex assignment, boy and man, girl and woman. However, as, as an intersex and trans person, I know that many people have bodies and experiences that do not neatly fit into this model. Mine doesn't. By equating certain sex organs and traits to certain genders, you ignore the multiple possibilities in bodies and genders. Our experiences and identities as trans and or intersex people may be different, but we both face threats to our safety and bodily autonomy. Being intersex or having constructed biological basis for variation is not any more valid than any other type of experience or identity. By creating a supposed exception for intersex people in these laws and bills, lawmakers and politicians are attempting to pin intersex and trans people against one another, as well as continually medicalize us and force us to disclose our medical history and what our bodies look like, as well as make us relive past traumas like for intersex people, the common practice of cosmetic, non-consensual medical interventions, like general surgeries, performed against intersex infants and adolescents. We, as intersex and trans people, need to rise in solidarity with each other to combat these laws and bills, as well as the culture of queer, trans, and intersex bigotry around them that created them. These fear tactics to distance ourselves from respectability won't work. There are already laws protecting all of us from harassment and assault, including sexual assault, for any reason. These anti-LGBTQIA bills and laws don't even do that. They aren't protecting anyone. They are purely discrimination and fear tactics. As an intersex and trans person, I send solidarity to all the trans, gender nonconforming, queer and intersex people, particularly the work on the ground and the leadership of black, immigrant, trans and queer people of color, resisting and fighting to be free from fear and discrimination for everyone's freedom, safety, and bodily autonomy when their bodies and lives are on the line. It's your strength, resilience, and bravery that's protecting all of us. As said in a statement put out by many local grassroots organizations in North Carolina, including Black Lives Matter North Carolina, Queer People of Color Collective, and Southerners on New Grounds, anti-transgender bias and legislation and persistent structural racism directly impact the devastating rates of suicidality, unemployment, physical and sexual violence, poverty, incarceration, and homelessness experienced by transgender people of color. This isn't just about bathrooms. These laws and bills are an attack on LGBTQIA people, people of color, working class and poor people, and immigrants. These backdoor tactics have intentionally left us out, demonized our experiences, legislated discrimination, and created a climate of fear and violence for us. It preys on people's ignorant fears and perpetuates stigmatization and stereotypes that have led to increased violence against trans and intersex people, particularly black trans women. These policies are anti-LGBTQIA and anti-worker. 
We demand a living wage and freedom from fear, criminalization, and discrimination in the workplace, in the bathroom, in education, in healthcare, in stores, on the street, and everywhere else. We deserve and demand to be able to move freely in public spaces in ways that suit our bodies, genders, and choices. We need bathrooms that are accessible, safe, and aren't demonizing our genders and bodies. We just need to pee in peace and earn a living wage and survive. And what do these lawmakers and politicians expect me to do? Face to the wall between the two doors like it's platform nine and three quarters? Or just pee in between the two doors? I know how to navigate bathrooms. The only time anything has ever happened was when someone harassed me because they believed that I didn't have the right to pee and exist. I urge you to rise up against these laws and bills, as well as the culture of bigotry and fear behind them, and say that we will not back down. We need to care for one another, cherish our diversity and multiple possibilities of bodies and genders, and love and protect each other. It's our duty to fight, it's our duty to win, and we will.